In this video, I am going to run through four examples on valuing interest rate options using the binomial option valuation model. So for the four examples, for example one, we are going to value a one-year European style interest rate call option. In example two, we are going to value a one-year European interest rate put option. In example three, we'll value a two-year European interest rate call option. And in example four, we will value a two-year European interest rate put option. To supplement the question, we will have a two-period binomial interest rate tree. And the risk-neutral probability will be 50% for each knot. Now, we'll start off with example one, where we will value a one-year European-style interest rate call option on a one-year spot interest rate. We will assume that the notional amount is $10 million. The exercise rate is 3.5% of the par or the notional. The risk neutral probability, as mentioned before, is 50%. And the cash settlement will be at time one, since it expires in one year. So the cash settlement will be at time one based on the observed rates, Okay, which in this case is 3.9% if the interest rate goes up and 2.7% if the interest rate goes down. So for a call option, and we will, this will expire in one year's time, so we will only need the interest rate up to time one. Okay, We don't need the interest rate at time two as of now. So at time one, when the call option expires, we will need to calculate the payoff of this call option at each knot. So at knot C plus, okay, for the payoff of the option at the higher interest rate, which is 3.9%. So the option payoff will be the maximum of zero and the higher spot rate minus the exercise rate. So we'll take this as maximum of zero and then this will be 3.9% minus the exercise rate, which is 3.5%. So this is equals to 0.4%. Okay, and for C minus, okay, which is uh, for the lower knot, so this will be the maximum of zero or 2.7%, the lower rate minus the exercise rate 3.5%. So that will be equals to zero because the option will be out of the money in this case, right? So this is 0%. So once you have the option payoff at each knot at C plus, uh, we have the C plus and C minus, okay, at the higher knot and the lower knot, we will then use the risk neutral probability of 50%, which is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 here. We will take the weighted payoff and discount it back to time zero using the one year uh, forward rate from time zero, right? So in this case, C zero will be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0.4%, okay, the upper knot plus 0 0.5 times 0%, the lower knot, and then we discount it, we divide by 1 plus 3.2%, okay, that's 0 0.032. So in percentage, uh, that gives us 0.1938%. Now, this is for a $1 notional, okay, so if you want to scale it to the required notional, which is 10 million, so the call value here would be 10 million, we will take 10 million uh, multiply by 0.1938%. So that gives us $19,380. For example two, we'll value a one year European interest put option on the one year spot interest rate. Now all the details are the same as example one. The notional amount is still $10 million. Exercise rate is 3.5% with a 50% risk neutral probability and cash settlement at time one. So we are going to use the rates that we observe here at time one. So again, we are going to calculate the put option payoff at time one when it expires. So the put payoff, if the interest rate is 3.9%, will be equals to the maximum of zero. And then we take the exercise rate minus the Rate, uh, the spot rate, okay, if it's higher at 3.9%. So in this case, we will take the maximum of 0 and 3.5% minus 3.9%. So 
So the option is out of the money, so the payoff is 0%. For P minus, okay, if the interest rate is 2.7%, so that's the maximum of 0, and we will take 3.5% minus 2.7%, so that gives us 0.8%. So the option is in the money, there is a positive payoff. We will then calculate the put option value at time 0, and how do we do that? We take the risk neutral probability and multiply it to the respective put option payoffs. So we have 0% and also 0.8%. After taking the weighted payoff, we will discount it back to time zero using the one period interest rate, okay, which is 0.032 or 3.2%. That will give us 0.3876%. Okay, and of course this is for a $1 notional, and since the notional is 10 million, what we need to do is just take 10 million, multiply by 0.3876%, and that gives us a premium or option price of $38,760. In example 3, we are going to value a 2-year European interest rate call option on 1-year spot interest rate. The notional amount is $10 million, the exercise rate is 3.3%, and the cash settlement is at time 2 based on the observed rates. So when the call option expires at time 2 or in 2 years, the option payoffs will be as follows. Okay, we are going to calculate C++, okay, which is when the rate goes high up and up, okay, which is uh, now 4.25%. So the formula is the maximum of zero, and then we take the higher spot rate, S++, minus the exercise rate. So that is the maximum of zero, and then 4.25% minus 3.3%. Okay, so that gives us 0.95%. Uh, and then for C++, minus, that will be the maximum of 3.4%, okay, uh, zero or 3.4% minus 3.3%, so that gives us 0.1%. And for C minus minus, that will be the maximum of zero, and uh, compared to 2.45% minus 3.3, uh, in this case, the option will be out of the money, so the payoff is just zero. All right, so we are done for calculating the option payoff at expiration. Now we are going to discount it back to time one, using the risk neutral probability of 50% on each knot. So again, we'll take the weighted payoff and then we discount it back using the previous period's one, uh, one, year, spot, uh, one year forward rate. So in this case, when you are calculating C+, plus, okay, which is at this point, this knot here, so we'll take 50%, 0 0.5 times the payoff on the upper knot, okay, which is 0.95%. Okay, plus uh, 0 0.5 again times 0.1%. Okay, that's uh, in the middle knot here. And then we are going to discount it, divide it by 1 plus the previous period's one, one year forward rate, which is 3.9%. Okay, that's 0 0.039. So when you divide, that will give you 0.5053%. Okay, you can use the store function in your, in your calculator to keep the numbers in if you do not want to uh, write down all your workings, okay? Uh, so of course, then you have C minus, so C minus is at the lower knot at time one, so that is 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.1% plus 0 0.5 times 0% on the lower knot, okay? And then you divide, you discount it by one plus 0 0.027, okay? Which is the one period forward rate at time one at the lower rate. Okay, so that will give you 0.0487%. So we are done for the first period, time 1. So finally, we'll discount this back to time 0. So the call option price at time 0, again, we will take 50% of each of the value, call value at time 1. So we'll take 50% uh, of 0.5053%. Plus 0 0.5 times 0.0487%. Okay, and then we will discount it using 3.2%. Okay, so that's 1 plus 0 0.032. Now that gives us about 0.2684%. 
and this is for a one dollar notional and if you scale it to 10 million so taking 10 million you take 10 million times 0.2684 percent so the call option value will be twenty six thousand eight hundred and forty dollars for example four we will now value a two-year european interest rate put option the notional amount is still ten million dollars exercise rate is three point three percent and cash settlement is at time two using the observed rates so again when the put option expires at time two the payoff for P++ will be based on the maximum of zero and then the exercise rate minus the higher, the S++, the higher spot rate, which is 4.25%. So we'll take maximum of zero and then 3.3% minus 4.25%. So the option is out of the money. So the payoff is zero. For P++, minus, which is when the rate is 3.4%, the payoff will also be zero because uh, the spot rate here is higher than the exercise rate. Okay, but anyway, we'll just calculate that. So maximum of zero and then 3.3% minus 3.4%. So in this case, the option is out of the money. Okay, it will not be exercised. And for P minus minus, that will be the maximum of zero and 3.3% uh, minus 2.45%. So the payoff here will be 0.85%. Done. So we'll now discount it back to time one. So P plus here. So you discount it back using 3.9%. So the weight is uh, 0.5 or 50% of zero, which is the payoff on the higher upper knot. Okay, and plus 0.5 multiplied by the payoff in the middle knot here, which is also zero. So of course, this will the, the whole thing will just be zero. Okay, but anyway, just to show the workings. Okay, we divide by 1 plus 0 0.039, but we still get 0. Okay, and then P minus, this would be 0 0.5 times the middle knot, 0%. Okay, and then plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.85%. Okay, and then we divide by 1 plus 0 0.027. So that gives us 0.4138%. Okay, and now we need one last step, which is to discount it back to time zero. So the, the value of the option at time zero will be 0 0.5 multiplied by the payoff, uh, the value of the option at uh, P plus, okay, which is uh, at time one on the upper knot. So that's 0%, okay, plus uh, 0 0.5 times 0 0.4138%. Okay, we divide by one plus 0.032 okay which is the one year forward uh, one year rate at time zero okay so that gives us about 0.2005 percent and scaling it by 10 million so we'll just take 10 million times 0.2005 percent so the uh, call the put value uh, will be twenty thousand and fifty dollars okay so that will be the value of the two-year European interest rate put option.